I can't believe that this is a headlamp that goes on your head and is just powered by one little battery. It is crazy bright. I'm reaching the house all the way up there. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a minute, but I have a super awesome and cool video to show you today. Now here's what it is. This is the Baja Designs headlamp. It is completely powered by Milwaukee M12 batteries has a super easy on and off switch, has a low voltage cutoff, and it just fits on your head, and it's freaking awesome. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know me very well, this is your first time on my channel or anything. So in my free time, it's not my full-time job, but I do it as a hobby and I do some side gigs sometimes. I'm a photographer, videographer, and a drone pilot. In my spare time, my favorite thing to do is I'll go out into just the middle of the desert, the middle of nowhere, these really cool rock formations like White Pocket or Moab or Hanksville. And I'll just go out to these places and I'll film with my drone and take pictures and videos and stuff. And the best lighting is either at sunset or sunrise. So either one of those two is my best time to film. And so if I wanna to get to these places, I often have to hike a couple miles or just hike away from the car. And I'll be, it'll be in the dark because I wanna get there before sunrise. So I'll be hiking in the dark or if, I'll, if I'm there at sunset, I'm gonna actually film at sunset and then when the sun goes down, then I'll start hiking back to my car. And this will often be in the pitch black and so what I need and what I have to have is a very reliable source of light. Because if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to have a light or else you're gonna just get lost or something. And just using your phone flashlight is not enough. So one of the things that has been a struggle for me is finding a really good headlamp to use. I don't like carrying a flashlight and so I like having a headlamp that I just put on my hat, put on my head, and it's just super easy to use. I just click a button and there it is. So finding a reliable source of light when I'm out on these trips, just in the middle of nowhere, has often been a struggle. And I've gone through so many different types of headlamps and headlights. And um, the one that I've settled on that's the best is this one. So this is the Nebo 1500. And the cool thing about this one is everything's contained in this. It's weatherproof. And um, it comes with these really nice USB-C 18650s. So right there, I don't know if you can see, but that is actually a USB-C port. So you just plug it in, it charges your phone, everything is USB-C nowadays. And so this is the really nice thing about that. So it's just USB-C, it goes in here, it's swappable. So if this one dies, you can just put another one in. But some of the drawbacks that I found to this are that these um, 18650 USB-C cells are very expensive and they're hard to come by, especially good ones. Often times you'll just find super junk, crappy ones on Amazon that don't even work and they especially don't work in the cold. And so that's one of the drawbacks of this. And the other drawback of this light is with this um, battery, it only lasts about two hours. And so oftentimes I'm in the middle of nowhere phot photographing all night. So I need something that has a little bit more battery life. And also this is um, 1500 lumens. That's what it's advertised as but um, that's on turbo mode and turbo mode lasts only 30 seconds. And so the normal high output for this is 750 lumens. So it's not crazy bright, but it's not super dim, but I still wanted something that was a lot better. And so now I'm gonna give you guys a little build overview and show you all of the parts that I used to build this headlamp. So first off, this is the Baja Designs S2 Pro. This is not the sport, so this is the more expensive one. It comes in at 2,245 lumens, and this lens is the driving combo lens. So it's got a spotlight and then kind of a wide throw light over there, and it's all fully metal. It's super high quality. The next thing is I have the GoPro head strap, and this is what's going to go on my head and hold the light when I'm going. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. And this is a 3D printed adapter that's going to go on this light. It's going to go on it like that. And then these tabs will hook into the GoPro lamp over there. And then these screws just put it in. So this, this is 3D printed and it's made out of PETG so that it can withstand the high temperatures and heat. These are the Delphi weather pack connectors. And so I'm gonna crimp these on, and these are gonna plug right into here. So that's what all these are. I have some heat shrink so that I can just make sure these are all super weatherproof. This is a low voltage cutoff, 
So when my Milwaukee batteries are plugged in, it's not gonna go below a certain voltage and hurt the batteries. This is actually a 3D printed housing for that. So it's not just this thing kinda, so it's not just this thing flopping around. So this actually goes in there like that and then it's all contained in this little unit. This is the M12 battery connector. So this is what's gonna plug into the batteries and it has a fuse, it has a fuse built in and it has a power switch. And so that is gonna be used to power it. And then this is an M12. This is just the um, two amp hour, but it is really small. It is lightweight and it's gonna be great. I use Milwaukee and this is an impact that I just keep in my in my car and so the nice thing about this is I can use it to power the headlamp and I can use it if I need to use my impact when I'm on one of these trips and so everything that I have is using these um, M12 batteries so I can just swap them really easily and I don't have to go out and buy a bunch more and then finally this is what's going to also be used on my headlamp so this is a stretchy coil cable and I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna splice these ends and I'm gonna use it to put the connectors on so that I can have kind of a bungee cord to use. So if I wanna stow the battery in my backpack or I wanna just stow this far away from my head, I'm able to do that. And I'll be cutting this off. This is actually a car port adapter. I'm not sure, I just found this on Amazon. So now we're gonna go ahead and build this. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking the 3D printed adapter and I'm gonna be attaching it to this light right here. So I'm just gonna take the bolts, put them in, the 3D printed mount on the lamp. Next, I'm gonna be slicing this wire so that I take this off. So I cut off that end, we don't we need that, that's a car charger, so we're just gonna throw that away. And next, I'm gonna take these two wires out of here and I'm gonna cut this open with my knife. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that really quick. So as you can see here, the build is almost finished. I have the light connected to the stretch cable. The stretch cable goes into the voltage, low voltage cutoff, and then that comes out and plugs into the um, M12 battery adapter with the switch. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Just make sure that everything works and make sure everything is good. And I just fully charged this M12 battery. So you can see here, it's 12.6 volts, which is the correct voltage for a fully charged M12. So there's three cells in here, and they're each at 4.2 cells. So that is 12.6, I mean it's 12.5 now, but it just went down. Everything looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and put it onto our GoPro head strap now, and make sure it all works, it all functions, and finally just button it all up. I'm gonna just go ahead and take this out of the box. It does come with the little hand tool, so that's good. And then here is the GoPro head strap, so we're gonna mount it all up, make sure this is all sized right, and let's go. So I'm in my backyard right now, and I have the two headlamps. This is the Baja Design headlamp. And then this is my Nebo headlamp, and I'm gonna do just a little comparison of the light output and the throw that these put off to show you how big of a difference that this is actually making. Now you can see that this setup is very big and heavy and bulky, but I definitely think it is worth the trade off because these are just, they're not bright enough. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So first, we're gonna take the Nebo headlamp and show you what it looks like. This is gonna be the high output. It's gonna be 700 and 50 lumens and that's the max and it'll run this for about two hours so this is what it looks like so before i turn on this headlamp i want to let you know that both of these videos the camera settings are the exact same 1 50th of a second iso 824 frames per second it's going to be completely the same so you're going to be able to exactly see how much brighter it is so i'm going to go ahead this is a little on camera light that i use i'm going to turn on the nebo so this is the Nebo on high output, and we're gonna see what it looks like.
I'm gonna back up a little bit. And I'm gonna come right behind the camera. So this is the Nebo headlamp on high output. So now I'm gonna do the exact same test with the Baja Design headlamp on. We're just gonna walk around this yard a little bit and see how big of a throw it is and how much brighter it is. Now this is about three times as many lumens, so it is gonna be a lot brighter. So that is something we already know, but we're gonna see how, just how much brighter it actually is. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna turn off my little on-camera light. And we're gonna switch on the Baja Design light. So now I'm gonna come behind the camera and show you just how much brighter it is. So you can obviously see that there is kind of hot spots in the middle, but <laughs> I'm able to shine it up on that house way up there and light up the whole house. I mean, I'm lighting up the whole yard. It is a million times brighter. And I think that it is definitely worth it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them on screen side by side so you can see just how big of a difference that they are. So one more thing I forgot to mention is that, I mean, obviously you can tell that these LEDs are very different chipsets. These are a lot bigger. And um, one thing I've noticed just from using this for a little bit tonight is that the Nebo headlamp, you can barely see in front of you. You can see maybe 10 or 15 to 20 feet. And I mean, if there's something lurking up ahead that's kind of scary, that's farther than that, it will totally get you because you can't see it. It'll just barely illuminate it. But this one, the Baja Design one, it will light it up. You will know exactly what it is. It is crazy bright. It's like you could replace your car headlamps with these and you'd be fine. So, I mean, this thing is crazy. I can't believe that this is a headlamp that goes on your head and is just powered by one little battery. It is crazy bright. I'm reaching the house all the way up there shining all the greenhouse so this is really cool thank you so much everyone for checking out this video now this was not a super scientific test or anything this was just me wanting to make a super bright headlamp because when i'm out adventuring in the outdoors when i'm taking photos i want something that's super bright and super reliable that just has the brightest light and also when i go hiking with my dogs at night just around the neighborhood often cars back out of their driveway and it's super easy to not see me and so with this contraption i have a hundred percent certainty that cars will see me hopefully they will mistake me just as another car because it is so bright now one of the things that i want to do i want to look for a lower voltage capacitor or a smaller capacitor for this so it's a because this is really big and bulky and then this cable is actually too short so i need to get a longer cable because it just kind of dangles here and it doesn't even quite reach my hoodie pocket so if i stretch this cable out and just keep stretching it it'll work and be a lot better but you can tell that this thing is super bright i mean once you get used to the weight it does fit on your head just fine this beanie isn't the perfect hat for it i prefer to wear a snapback or even just put it on your head but my hair is kind of long so it gets everywhere but thank you so much for watching this video i hope this helps you um I'm going to put a little bit of information on the screen to tell you about this. So this is a Milwaukee 2 amp hour battery and I did some calculations. I'll put them on the screen, but this battery should get me about 55 minutes. I have this low voltage capacitor set up so that it turns off at 10.5 volts. So 10.5 divided by three, that's what I take the cells down to. You don't want them to get any lower than that. And, um, it starts at 12.6, so it goes from 12.6 down to 10.5. I haven't tested it out, but it should be about an hour, which is not exactly what I was hoping for, but I do have a lot of these batteries. They're super quick to charge, and um, they are relatively cheap, and I can use them for all my tools, so it is a good investment, but 
I really like this light. It's super cool. It looks like I am a freaking crazy minion mega, man, mega mind head, but it is a really bright light and it works really good. So thanks for watching my video. Check me out on the next one.